All right, folks. Welcome back to. Um, wow, level up music was going on for a while there. Le welcome back to uh, Let's Play Lennis 2. We are going to avoid fighting jizz burners because we don't want to level up uh, Myra too much. We want to level her up later. So we should be able to run away from these jizz burners pretty easily. Well, that jizz burner and its friends. Who would be friends with a jizz burner? Thing burns jizz. What more heinous crime could there be? Octopedes and their jizz burner, pal. You sicken me. First check the container. Spirit orb was found. Hey, their stripper character looks uh, like she's got some kind of fancy ribbons or something on, but it's actually the woman behind her <laughs> with a cape. Slimy sweat was found. Those are like permanent, permanent boost items that I've been ignoring here now for a while. Like uh, prayer tears increases stamina. Use that on Ferris. And Slimy Sweat will increase max HP. Use that on Ferris. Because I know for sure that he will be with us at the end of the game. Okay, I don't have to worry about you guys because you don't have a Jizz Burner with you, so you should be easy to flee. Get out of the way before you're burned! Oh! This game does love having timed uh, traps in the dungeon that you have to like hit at the right moment or not hit at the wrong moment. Chisburner? No, Stone Gulch. Chisburner! I hope our boss is a giant jizz burner. Not our boss, like the person we work for. The boss of this cave. And actually, you know what? I hope that a boss of this cave isn't uh, a jizz burner. I hope the boss we work for is a giant jizz burner. There's the pert bird feather. Increases speed. Give that to Ferris. Then I will sort my tools, which I didn't mean to do last time, but I did anyway. Pert bird. Jizz burner. Oh my god. I wish I could fight the jizz burners, but I don't want to level up Myra. Suppose I could have come through this dungeon with somebody else in my party and used to summon tavern to get Myra right at the end, but uh. Got a heavy sword. It's pretty heavy sword. Jizz burners, run! It's pretty dragon horn. So I'll increase wisdom. No tool bag. No, damn it. Oh well, I figured out where the permanent stat boosters tend to show up. Right at the end of the item usable item list, but right before you get to equipable items. Just burner. No stone gulch. Thank God. I don't know if I can handle another jizz burner. Do you guys just get burned? No, you're cool. And uh, somebody commented that these dungeons are way longer than they were in Lennis. Um, they're a little bit longer, but they're still pretty short as dungeons go. I'm not complaining about that at all. I like the fact that the, there's like a lot of plot stuff going on and not a ton of just dungeon crawl. Although I know other people do not appreciate that. Air card was found. What is your other spell that you've got? Uh, uh, what's your name? Myra? Fire. So if I get fire cards... Jizz burner! You can burn jizz with them. That would be cool. Really need to try to get ready for jizz burning action. Make sure that Myra is prepared for future jizz burning duties.
It's an enemy that burns jizz, folks. I don't know why you would do that. As far as I am concerned, there's only one purpose that jizz has. It's an inconvenience unless you are trying to impregnate a woman. And burning it really doesn't seem like a good idea. It would just make it stinkier, wouldn't it? I don't know. This is the LP where we talk about transvestite, murders, and jizz. Another gold card. You know what we do with those? We give them to Myra. Oh, I'd gotten another gold card and not realized it. These things are jizz burners in their own right, but only if you jizz directly into them. So, um, don't do that. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for, uh, taking my advice on the whole jizz burning issue. <coughs> Pardon me. Excuse me. Uh-oh. It's a giant jizz burner. Well, it's a... Wow, it looks like... I wouldn't want to have any my jizzing gear anywhere near the... That's like Metal Gear spinning around. Metal Gear. Like, you could put your jizz burner into that hole, but I wouldn't advise it, and I need to stop talking about things that jizz. Mongra. Let's see how quickly we can destroy a Mongra. Three hundred seventy-five physical. Magic damage does about three thousand. This thing shows up and does a lot less, but it also is going to protect us, I believe. Yeah, you summon this monster and it takes damage for you. It's kind of an interesting spell. I believe. Leyland does very little of this thing because I remember that this is I was fighting this thing off camera a little bit playing ahead and that's kind of when I decided that I wasn't going to keep um, Melina around anymore she there's nothing that she can do against this boss to help really so this is the drilling machine it seems kind of small <laughs> and wimpy your jizz machine's pretty tiny there, uh, Gilray Zorak. Couldn't you have a bigger jizz machine than that? Aren't you a little embarrassed? Sorry. I got a medicine refill. Now I'm inside Mongra. Do you have a living? Oh, that's Mumra. Mold mist. I need to run away from them because I don't want to level up Myra, so. I have an excuse not to fight them right now. <laughs> oh, cool. Let's do the health thing real quick. Pretty convenient. Wow. Oh, it's a slightly different version of the same awesome music. They don't have the same background part. I don't like this quite as much as the Paladin's Quest version, but I, I really like the idea that they're doing a redux of this theme. You'd never be able to hear this whole music if you were walking around. You'd always be in battle. So yeah, I'm in some kind of ancient mystical machine, apparently, that has, like, the power of the Rygons backing it up. Oh. 
do it doesn't do it the same way anymore. Boom, 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 boom. If I was ever gonna make my own RPG and I was going to like make myself a boss character that you had to fight, and I have to go through a whole dungeon. Oh well, she she's she's medicine. I didn't mean for her to do that. And I also I think about it, didn't mean to fight these guys. But this is totally the music that my dungeon would have. Or I'd rather would have the Paladin's Quest one version, which I like slightly better than this version, but this is a little longer, more involved music than that one was, but uh Mold guys. I'm just. I haven't seen any treasure in here yet, but you never know. All right, no treasure. Revenges. Okay, I think it might be time now if I'm going to just be sure that I don't lose my best equipment on uh, Iris. I mean, uh, Myra. I want to have it for another party member later. Hardly seems fair, but I'm gonna. No, what am I doing? All right, now she's like somewhat defenseless. I'm really just hoping I can keep her alive, but um, it's all for a good cause, my dear. You'll be back later, I'm sure. the uh, treasure thingy. And there's the douchebag and a gas mask of some kind. Killer egg. Oh, it's Zorak. Ah, 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 ah. Hey, you're too late. Just a bit too late to waltz up here nonchalantly. Gah, ah, 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 ah. So you people believe you can beat me to the seals? Well, I'm a few steps ahead of you. No one shall hinder the real great union now. I won't allow you to shatter Sir Granada's dream. So looky here. This is the seal you were seeking. Want it? Duh. Nah. What? Really? Then we'll work together to achieve the real great union? Gah, ah, 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 ah. What a grand idea. However, I will not share Sir Granada's dream with the likes of you. So die. Alright, so he kills you anyway. Or tries to. Is that so? Do you really want it? Gah, ah, 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 ah. Then you shall have it. All you must do is defeat me, and it's all yours. Ah, 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 ah. Check me out. I'm laughing and stuff. All right, crazy psycho bitch. This is what you wanted. Kill Gilroy Zorak. Let's do it. Let's make it fit quick. He doesn't seem to mind fire. He doesn't seem to be strong against it, but it's not hurt him too bad. Yeah, 
Yeah, I want to keep Myra alive for sure. I'm not worried about this fight. I just don't want Myra to die after I took off all her equipment. Yeah, he's shooting Metal Man Blades of Death. Which totally killed our Grava, it looks like. Use defense up on, uh... Oh. Can that spell only be cast on yourself? Looks like it. You don't get to direct that one. Alright. Zap. Oh, well that's it for you. Oh, that's too bad. I saw him before when I fought him off camera using this cool attack that makes like these metal claws come from the ceiling, but... Oh, well, it didn't last long enough this time. Hey, 1,200 gold, 2,000 experience. Enemy has a home door. Myra will level up, I'm sure. Ah, 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 ah. How can this be? Who are you, anyway? I thought you were a f you. I thought you were a fool easily deceived, but, but... Oh, Lord Granada, please forgive this Gilray Zorak. <laughs> or Zork. Who was useless to you? Ah, 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 ah. I did it! I finally did it! Damn you all to hell! With his hand shining in his head of mine shines and roars! Its loud cry commands me to defeat you! With his hand, with my own hand, I murdered my father's murderer and my mother's murderer! My sister's brother's you know, my cousins, my dogs! Finally Gilray Zork breathes no more! With my own hands, I sent Gilray straight to hell! We're all on a highway to hell. Get your ass up! But what's this? Hell to hell. Shouldn't I be overflowing with happiness, burning with extreme excitement? Shouldn't I be joining Cobra Gang? I've achieved my revenge for Mother, Father, and Jan, and Jace. Shouldn't I be crying with relief? Why do I feel no emotions? You defeated Zorak and thus rescued Jan and Jace. Why do I feel no emotions? Why do I feel so dreadfully empty inside? Oh, it's a very deep moment for you. I'm sorry, Forrest, but I'm leaving now. Leaving on another journey. I was consumed with a desire of revenge against Gilray's Orc, but now my heart feels empty. Now I must search for a new meaning in my life, something to replace my lust for vengeance. Well, I mean, you could, like, help me save the world and stuff. No, no. Goodbye, Ferris. I hope we'll meet again when my reborn heart is filled with life once more. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. That's why I stripped you of all your equipment. It's almost like I knew that was going to happen. I can't summon anyone here? Oh, bullshit. See a seal on the pedestal. Do I want to take it? Yeah, of course I want to take it. Oh no! The earthquake machine is causing earthquakes inside itself! And we've gone way over. Well, let's let this end and then we'll end the video. Okay, so presumably we've now been trapped underground. Oh, okay, we escaped somehow. Neat. I don't know where you are, where you came from, but thanks to you, Cameron has been saved. Thank you, and that's it. All right, folks, when we come back, uh, I'll summon a new party member, and uh, I guess we'll figure out what we're doing from here. Uh, there's more places on the map we can explore. So that's probably going to involve some wandering around. Uh, we'll see you next time for sure. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.